We introduced a lot of technology that over the years, of course, other companies are using. Uh, we were the first ones in the industry that introduced motors on shakers that require no uh, greasing or lubrication. So the little company has always pushed uh, technology out. And of course, once it worked, you know, the big buys followed it. And this is where we are now with the barkeeper. It actually means uh, Bayrite, since we're talking about solids control, Bayrite Keeper or Bayrite Recovery. It is based on cyclonic technology. It's one of the major things we're working on. What it will do, it will basically replace uh, Bayrite Recovery centrifuges, which are a minimum of three times the capital investment cost plus high operating expenses. It will also uh, play a role in the dual density drilling for the very deep, deep offshore wells. It's two application, but it's the same function. Uh, on, on, on the dual gradient or dual density drilling, basically what the, the operators need to do is reduce the, the mud weight the problem happens is because of capacity, it, uh, it, it would require a, a huge bank of centrifuges. Uh, for example, each one of our barkeepers has a capacity, a total process capacity of 250 gallons per minute. So if you take four barkeepers in parallel, you're talking about processing a thousand gallons per minute. To do that with a centrifuge is extremely difficult and it requires a lot of units. What we're saying is we replace the Bayride recovery centrifuge. Most all the rigs uh, that have uh, weighted drilling muds or Bayride in the mud have a dual centrifuge system. It works on a cyclonic principle where in other words you pump the fluid to the module, the module spins it, not mechanically, just through centrifugal force, and uh, you recover a bayrite slurry out of the underflow of the equipment. Uh, the return is also liquid, but has the low gravity solids. So we make a specific gravity separation. Very, very low maintenance. Uh, you don't have any gearboxes. Um, all you do is you have a, a, a pumping system. Uh, to give you an idea, the Bayright Recovery Centrifuge has a requirement somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, 175 to maybe as high as 200 horsepower. We're talking about doing the same thing with about 50 horsepower. We provide the training. For example, our company uh, conducts uh, solids control schools. Uh, we've trained uh, everybody from Petro Vietnam to Pemex to Petrobras. We also provide the commissioning and the, the field service. Uh, in other words, if, if a customer leases or purchases a barkeeper, our people would go with them to train them and commission them so they can operate it properly in the field. We are looking to have commercial units out, trying to be realistic, uh, October, November frame. We're first targeting the land uh, solids control slash waste management. After that, move into the offshore market. Fluid Systems uh, is and has been in um, the offshore market for over 25 years. We were the first ones uh, to introduce the mechanism, it's called the, the, the wedge lock. We're also the ones that introduced the flat uh, uh, screen panels uh, that don't need to be, uh, you know, with the tension rails in the old days. So there's been a lot of that kind of uh, technology innovations. 
I know, for example, that uh, the majors, uh, uh, BP, uh, Chevron, BHP, uh, Murphy Oil, the ones I know personally are following this development very, very, uh, you know, want to be kept in the loop and they're very interested in it. Audio jungle. We have one machine that uh, we've been working on and is still in our R&D stage, but it is a totally computer controlled shaker. We're calling it Prodigy 2. So what we're doing there is we're taking the shaker and adding software and uh, algorithms where it will sense what the rig does and it will make the necessary adjustments automatically. Yes, uh, basically what you can do with that shaker is, since it's controlled electronically, you, you have, uh, you, you just dumb it down to an A, B, or C setting. It's just a matter of pushing a button and it will adjust to those parameters. First quarter next year, definitely by the OTC. Well, from, from the perspective of our customers, Increase of efficiency, uh, modern rigs, capital, it's, it's sort of all of the above. The barkeeper, for example, is being driven because the oil companies have, have, have started to push back on the ever-increasing cost of these services. So that's sort of what pushed the barkeeper ahead. We are coming out with a, a new line of uh, shakers that uh, typical shakers right now, depending on which brand, including ours, are somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to eight G-forces. We have one unit right now, it's a completely different technology, where we're able to provide 50 to 100 or potentially more Gs on the screen. So now we're, we're going after the market to remove additional oil from the cuttings or diesel. So that's other technology we're working on. There are, there are many other companies in our business that are revenue-wise probably bigger than we are. And here you've got Fluid Systems continuously developing applied technology. We're not living in the past. <laughs>